so okay so mm. someone in the previous video i was talking about uh, especially the devi mahatmya which is the uh, text about the goddess sanskrit mm. text about the goddess so in between i told one line that uh, uh, about some caste and uh, that bhagavad gita and devi mahatmya i mean in some way they give some legitimacy to the caste system or at least they assume an mm. underlying framework of the caste system like it's not like they are promoting caste system but they assume that the caste is there and it, it is just there it's a natural thing like right. they assume that Ka- kind of like the quran where it, um that doesn't say hey slavery is okay but it just yeah, refer yeah, or the it, bible it, 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 yeah it is the bible that slavery is just there and it's natural it, yes. it doesn't talk i mean it doesn't see right. it as a problem in fact it doesn't see it as a problem it talks about it as if it's a natural order of things it's it doesn't yeah, say yeah, it, it doesn't say like the bible or the quran they don't say like hey slavery is great but they just yeah they don't condemn it and they talk about yeah, it as yeah, if yeah. it's not so you're saying basically hindu scripture also talks about casteism as if it's a natural order of things um yeah, yeah. okay so that that's what you were saying and what did the comment yeah. section say okay okay sure so uh first of all he was saying uh, this person is there he is saying that he is faking nonsense so okay so some people... j- let, let's just clarify this is an atheist republic video and this is you and uh, we'll go up let's look at the video let's go up go up scroll up oh yeah i'm sorry all the way up never mind we, um yeah just go go oh yeah so this is a video of you on atheist republic and this is somebody commenting about you you mentioning that okay let's go let's, let's see the comments say I just wanted to see. I just wanted to give people some context. Where do you go? Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. He's okay. taking on that. Okay. So someone replies, uh, "Idiots uh, always lecture on something he doesn't know. So don't give importance to the things that doesn't matter to you. Let them talk whatever they like." Okay. It makes some sense at least. In every channel, an Indian becomes wise on religion, but in reality, he's frustrated. Okay. Let's... <laughs> Then I asked, uh, "Who is faking? Who is faking?" So just, I just I asked. Then he is saying, oh, the, gr- is "The green." Another... the green one is you yeah yeah, yeah. so this okay. this one is a regular troller i understood later on this is just another takia i don't know what does this word mean uh <laughs> i mean when it comes to islam or christianity these guys quote verses but when it comes to hinduism they talk bs there is no hard work required to tell lies so if you are the same ronak bhatra as in the video then you have zero knowledge of india or hinduism okay so then i say okay tell me where i was wrong so he says you were wrong in almost everything you said okay let's start in chronological order to for you said caste system is a part of religious text dude varna system and caste system are to separate things i mean i have been listening to the, i mean i have been listening this since like many days like varna and caste are to separate things but in reality i mean i don't know like what is the basis of that argument even uh, and then, uh, to show me where caste wait can you explain Ver- what is varna system what is varna you don't have to go okay. to the oh Oh, yeah, okay so in varna system see in the puranic scriptures there is a varna system or hmm. even sometimes it is mentioned as jati so there are four different categories of people there is brahmins kshatriyas hmm. uh, vaishyas and shudras so it is it, even the caste duties are mentioned in many puranic and i mean other kind of scriptures that the brahmins are supposed to like uh, read the religious scriptures and perform religious things and all the hmm. kshatriyas are i mean supposed to be kings and warriors and perform battles and all and then are comes the vaishyas they are the tradesmen they do involving trading activities agricultural activities etc and mm. uh, there are the shudras who serve all the three castes mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. the three other castes okay they and are like the outca- servant and, then and all servant and then there's the no, 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 the puranic the, the puranic scriptures pur- don't talk about them don't talk about that okay and this that's the, the ver- that's the ver- that's the verna yes yeah, that is the verna, verna. This, so this is how is that that sounds that sounds like a caste system how how do people say that separate from yeah, caste system yeah and the point is that when you talk about the modern caste system still these four categories are there these four still get i mean just that the scriptures don't say that essentially the caste system is birth on the basis of birth they don't explicitly say that but it doesn't mean that i mean we are not sure whether it is on the basis of birth or on the basis of occupation and even if it is on the basis of occupation how does it justify that i mean uh, that doctors should be treated separately separately then engineers should be treated separately they they can't sit together i mean though it doesn't say that i mean there is no untouchability and all these things but oh, okay uh, he, and untouchability and all these things also are there in some later scriptures actually uh, i mean it is there in some other scriptures where they say that okay like people who eat beef and all these are actually 
Hmm. I mean, in some form, I mean, impure or something like that. They are bec- they become the outcast and all. I mean, this is there in the Manu Smriti and all, which texts are actually burned regularly in India. So no one considers them seriously nowadays. Anyway, but still, and that's why I think the I mean, you you sometimes say like uh, suppose the Muslim, you say no, the Muslim is a, like a race in India. Hmm. And I understand yeah, it I, very, very. I mean, I, I can connect with this. Like, suppose, for example, like even the persons who are not bigoted. Like, for example, my parents. Suppose I, to, to I showed like, okay, he, I, I'm going to have a call with him. And my mother is like, oh, he's so handsome. I mean, he, he's handsome because he's a Muslim. I'm like, but he's now an ex-Muslim. No, but no, he is a Muslim. For my mother, you are not an ex-Muslim criticizing Islam. You are a Muslim criticizing Islam because Muslim is like. Itself a race or something, and Muslim people are handsome, yeah, and because I mean, Muslim is like an Arabic or Persian identity. That is itself becomes a Muslim or something. Yeah, like I I heard that they keep telling me that Muslim. they tell me that being Muslim is in your DNA. Once a Muslim, always yeah, yeah, a Muslim. Yeah. So for um, Indians, the Muslim is like a like Turkish, uh, Iranian, and Arabic ancestry itself is like Muslim ancestry. Like mm-hmm. that is the identity of Muslim basically. So and how however, especially especially eating beef is another thing. Which they identify Muslims with. So, if Muslims are born in a community where beef is being eaten, then they are impure because beef eating is impure. So, so I how mean, how is this how is this relate to the relationship between the Verna and the caste system? How how is this relate to each other? Yeah, because Muslims also come in the category of Dalits in that sense because Muslims are also untouchables in some sense because you can't touch like if my grandparents and my grand grandparents they would not go to right. a Muslim household and no, eat food. Yeah, with yeah them. I, I know, they but consider it impure to eat food with a Muslim or share food with a Muslim or even uh, give permission to a Muslim to enter into the house but because that will be considered something which is not uh, very pure okay. or something. Like Okay, but so going back to the Verna, the argument for in favor of that is like yeah, but Verna doesn't include this untouchability. Okay, Verna doesn't include this right. untouchability. It but, is just talking about four different categories of people who are de- doing different kinds of jobs. It is not considering any right. like untouchability. And they and say, and they, to defend that, they say that that's not based on heritage, that's based on merit. Uh, they don't explicitly say anything about that. They just mm. say that these are the duties of these categories of people. But how so, are these categories meant to be? Like, is it on the basis of birthright or is it on the basis of, I mean, just merit or something? We don't know. But uh, I mean, sense. we don't know means, I mean, in many of the, like in the main scriptures, it is not told. I'm not sure about which scripture tells this. But in the main scriptures that uh, Bhagavad Gita and all, it doesn't explicitly say like whether it is on the basis of birthright or anything. So these Vernas, how old they are? Uh, the, the, the I mean, Verna these, are, these are these are much old. I mean, these are around two thousand years old or even earlier. But modern genetic studies shows that endogamy. Endogamy means the uh, process of like restricting marriage to specific groups like specific group can marry within itself this process starts around 2000 years ago this is modern genetic studies show that so it is assumed that even if the caste system had older roots but it became like a based on birth system and you can't marry outside your caste these things developed right. 2000 years ago so i think that oh that that part that part developed 2000 years ago right yeah but the system may be existing earlier but earlier it may be on the basis of occupation and not on the basis of birth right but later on so it the, became like a... so i'm gonna say this and you tell me if this is um a fair depiction of what happens okay so we know based on the er- the oldest like some of the oldest texts right that whatever the caste system is today even though it might have been different originally, it it started based on some of the oldest Hindu texts, maybe in a different form, but it is rooted in some of the earliest Hindu texts. Okay, we don't know how ex- how much exactly we don't have any proof that how much exactly what it was based on um, heritage, but we know that it was rooted like. Even if you go to the oldest text, there was something that is close to what we have as caste system today, right? Yeah. No, see, and even oh, let a... me let, let, let me let me finish this, and you tell me if this is fair. And later on, even though it was still a long time ago, like around two thousand years ago, the, whatever that original form of it was, like the Verna or whatever, it turned into at at least it's been at least two thousand years that it turned into something that is closer to the caste system today, which is based on heritage, based on blood, right? not based on merit. And that thing, w- w- it turned into that long time ago enough for us to be to be able to say that the caste system based on heritage is part of, is canon in, the Hindu, in the Hinduism, right? It's part of, it, like it tied v- very yeah, yeah. well into Hinduism. Is that fair 